PsychYogi.org. Kohlberg, 1981, The Philosophy of Moral Development. Background. This is the second study we look at from turning to crime, cognition, and it is further categorised into moral development and crime. The background to this research is Freud's theory of development, which Kohlberg has extended. Freud believed that children are born with only the id present, which means they are egocentric and do not care about anyone else but themselves. Later, the ego and superego develop, which allow people to understand morality and the feelings of others. The, Hen- the Heinz dilemma is also part of the background to this study. The Heinz dilemma was a thought experiment. And Heinz was a man who had a wife, and his wife was dying in a bed. And she needed this new drug that had been developed in order to survive. And a pharmacist had developed this local drug, and he'd made it, and it cost a thousand of whatever currency it was to make. And what happened then is... Heinz went to the guy and said, can I buy some of the drug? And the guy said, no, 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 no. You can't buy it because it's 10,000. That's what he's selling it for. And then Heinz says, but you're making it for 1,000. So then Heinz goes around to all his friends and goes and asks for money and scrapes enough to get half of the drug. He gets 5,000. Goes to the pharmacist and says, can you please sell it me for 5,000? I'll pay you back later. And the pharmacist says, no, 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 I can't make any exceptions for you. So, what should Heinz do in this situation? Should he steal the drug? Should he let his wife die? Should he steal some money to steal to buy the drug? This is what Kohlberg put to his um, children that he studied. Now, we're, we're not looking at the study he did here. We're looking at the theory that came from that study. But that's what he put to them. And from this, their answers and their ages, he worked out his theory of moral development. According to Kohlberg, there are three levels and six stages to moral development. Level one pre-conventional morality. Stage 1. Punishment, avoidance and obedience. Individuals only follow rules if it prevents punishment or if they can get away with it. Stage 2. Exchange of favours. Individuals begin to understand that they can do things to gain other things that they want. Level 2. Conventional morality. Stage 3. Good boy, or good girl. Individuals make moral decisions on the basis of what actions will please others, especially authority figures. Stage 4. Law and order. Individuals now look to society as a whole for guidelines concerning right and wrong. Level 3. Post-conventional morality. Most people don't tend to get to stage 5 and 6, No one's ever, apparently, according to Kohlberg, got to stage 6, and few people reach stage 5. Stage 5, social contract. Individuals recognise that the rules represent an agreement among many people about appropriate behaviour. This, they understand, that rules can be transcended if the situation requires. Stage 6, the universal ethical principle orientation. Individuals adhere to a small number of abstract universal principles that transcend specific concrete rules. They answer to an inner conscience and may break rules that violate their own ethical principles if few, very few if any, reach this stage. Sorry. Okay, now we're actually going to look at the study that he did. AIM. To find evidence in support of a progression through stages of moral development. Method. The study was started in 1963. 
It was a longitudinal study with interviews with 56, 58 working class and middle class boys from Chicago aged 7, 10, 13 and 16. The boys were interviewed individually for two hours each at a time. They were interviewed every three years until they were between 30 and 36 years old. Although the rate of subject attrition is not known, we can assume that some of the participants didn't return. Results. The younger and youngest boys tend to be in either stage 1 or stage 2 of the moral development. Whereas older boys were typically in stage 3 or 4. No support was found for stage 6. And Kohlberg later removed it from his theory. Conclusions. Although Kohlberg's theory was not intended to apply to criminal morality, a replication of this study, Thornton and Reed, 1982, suggested that criminals who commit crime for financial gain tend to display more immature morality than those who commit more violent crimes. Evaluation. Remember, this is not an exhaustive list. The sample is both ethnocentric and androcentric and is therefore not very generalizable. There were no girls in the study. Do we know that girls develop exactly the same to boys? Well, not from this study, no. So we can't say, well, girls will never reach stage 6. Maybe he would have found support for stage 6 if there was girls in the study. Given the study was a longitudinal study, it is low in replicability. However, it does show development over time, which is very important for this study. It could be argued that the study contains temporal bias as it began in 1963, and it may not be generalisable to the moral development of today's children, especially considering their increased exposure to the media. If you've enjoyed this Psych Yogi presentation, why not subscribe to keep up with all the latest videos?